I feel like this is all happening very fast, but The Sims team just announced two more kits that are both coming out this week in like two days. I think the reason it feels fast to me is because just last week we got that quarterly teaser post and in it they sort of mentioned four kits coming in the next couple of months and now all of a sudden half of them have been announced. So I want to talk about this kit announcement today, but also I'm fairly certain we're going to get a base game update today as well for a couple reasons. Number one, they have to update the game before a new pack comes out. Out. Pretty much every release, like Clockwork, we get the update on a Tuesday and then the pack comes out on the Thursday. But also, and this is probably the bigger reason, The Sims literally tweeted yesterday about a new song coming to the base game today, so I'm, I'm like pretty sure we're gonna get an update. We'll get into that later once the update actually comes out, but for now, I want to look into that kit announcement. This was the teaser they had posted. They had this little gif with some weird boxes, they announced four new and unique kits, one update, and then there was like this take me home theme kind of going on. On with it. I made an entire video about this little 13 second teaser, so if you want to watch that, I'll link it down below. But now they've already announced half of it, so. This is the tweet they posted today. It says, craft the ideal space for your green thumb or bring life back into the worn down with the new The Sims 4 Greenhouse Haven Kit and The Sims 4 Basement Treasures Kit. And then we have this gif with both of the kits kind of being teased on it. The greenhouse one, I don't think I'm surprised by because in that teaser there was like a little icon that had a plant and then a roof over it, so we were all kind of like, okay, maybe it's a greenhouse kit. The basement treasures kit though, I think is kind of surprising to me. I didn't see that one coming. Based on this and the like tiny snippet of words in the tweet, it sounds like it's gonna be like worn out furniture. The greenhouse one is something that I've been wanting for a long time. I think me and a lot of you build greenhouses a lot in our games. So I'm kind of excited to have like some official windows and stuff that'll work better for that. This one though, the basement isn't a thing that I really ever considered. I don't really think about or build basements all that often, but I do love to play in like a multi-generational family home, so I kind of love the idea of like old furniture and like stuff being stored. It looks like there's some old trophies, there's like a case, so I'm kind of curious about this one. I feel like this might make me make use of basements more often. Also, you all know, I don't really care about create a sim kits, I'm definitely more of a builder, so anytime we get build kits, I'm a little bit more excited, and these are both build kits. So aside from this gift, they also posted a tweet about each pack and these have screenshots. The first one says build a tranquil retreat and spend some quality plant time with the Sims 4 greenhouse haven kit. Organize your perfect planting workspace, take in serene greenery, and live out your gardening fantasies. Available April 20th. So that's like now. <laughs> it's April 18th so it comes out on Thursday and this is the screenshot they posted. Let's go full screen for this so we can really take it in because there's a lot of new stuff that I want to point out here. First of all and probably most importantly it looks like we've got two new windows and a new door. We've got an open and a closed version of this window. I would love if they did a short, medium, and tall wall height version of the windows, but for some reason they never do. It is so annoying when they do this because it really limits how much you can use the windows when you don't have enough options for all the wall heights, but because this is just a kit, I would really bet that it's just the one wall height version. I would love to be pleasantly surprised, but my expectations are low. I do like this door. I like the style of these windows a lot, and I think it's kind of fun to have like some of them open. This is also a new wallpaper and it looks like there's two variants. There's like a plain one and then this one has like the middle lines in it. The glass roof we already had, that's base game, but these look new. These like super cute little hanging planters. This hose is base game. A lot of folks haven't seen that, but there is a base game hose. This is kind of cute because it's like little pot clutter maybe. There's like a pot and some dirt. We have this new table option. I'm assuming that all of this stuff is like automatically on it, but it's like a little table with some planting supplies. There's like some spray bottles, some pots some little seedlings and things. Over here, this also looks to be like some kind of planting table. It's got some cute clutter on it as well. There's like gloves, there's a shovel hanging, there's some more pots down here. It's kind of hard to see what's going on inside, but it looks like there's some more clutter in there. I'm seeing these spray bottles again. So maybe these spray bottles, because they use them twice, maybe they're an object that we can place. It looks like this fan up here is also new. And then down here in the bottom, we can see some more clutter. It looks like this is another angle of this same pot from up top. There's like some stacks of pots here, and then we have this one. This looks like a watering can and like some other supplies all together. I am really curious to see how much is coming in this kit because from this, I'm counting nine new items and then like the two windows and the door, so that makes 12, and then also the wallpaper. So I, I hope that there's more, <laughs> like some more inside. This won't be a gameplay kit, it's a build kit, so it won't have any new like actual gameplay options. We essentially already have the ability to like play with 
with greenhouses in The Sims. Like you can just put plants inside or even just put a roof on top of plants and it works the same way. You don't need like special windows. But for builders, this kind of thing is pretty fun if you like to build stuff like this, if you like to build farms, if your Sims garden a lot. So I'm kind of excited about this. I'm really curious to see like more from it and see all the items and stuff. So obviously on Thursday, I'll buy it and make a video kind of showing you all the new things. I can see why some folks might be kind of annoyed at this kit because I've already seen some people online saying like, why didn't this come in seasons? And yeah, I can kind of see that because seasons had the flower arranging table and it like kind of made sense with this. But the thing is, I honestly don't believe they were like holding out on greenhouses back then so they could release them later and charge extra for them, you know, five years down the line. Kits are just weird. They're like so anger inducing because pretty much every single one of them could have that said like, oh, why aren't they in such and such pack? But I think how I'm personally feeling about greenhouses specifically is that I like the idea of it and I'm kind of excited to have more gardening stuff because I like to have my Sims play with this kind of thing. But again, we'll have to wait and see what it actually has in it when it actually comes out because right now I, I don't know. We've still got a whole other kit to talk about though. This tweet says, uncover forgotten favorites and hand me down gems with the Sims 4 basement treasures kit. They spelled treasures wrong. <laughs> and then it says, with wear and tear from lots of use and love, create new memories from the old that add a little history to your decor. And then we got a screenshot for this one too that I also want to open up and look at full screen. This is really interesting because it feels kind of like the other clutter kits that we've gotten, except it's like bigger pieces. So instead of like, you know, a little tiny pair of glasses, we've got like a full couch and stuff. So let's go from left to right here and kind of talk about all the new stuff because in this corner, I see what looks to be like a broken lamp. It looks like the base is cracked and the shade is like tilted. Then there's like a little crate with like some books in it, maybe yearbooks or something. There's a family photo on the wall. The wallpaper is weird because I don't think I've seen this before, like the little stains. We've got some stuff like that, but it comes in the vampires pack. So I'm wondering if maybe there's a new kind of stained wallpaper. Oh, I am very zoomed in. Okay, I think this is a new TV, like a little old TV. And then I'm also seeing this old phone and it's kind of like set on top of a lunchbox. It looks like it's probably just clutter. Like it's not a real phone with how it's kind of set on top of the lunchbox and stuff. But I do like the idea of having one of these older phones, especially when you're trying to build like an older house. All of the older Sims games had like real phones that you could buy. I know kids these days only know about iPhones, but this kind of thing is sort of fun for storytelling. I also think that this coffee table is new or maybe it's a console table. I don't know. It looks kind of like it's sort of worn down on the corners. Then we have this little box with some more stuff stored in it. Another box over here. So now the moving boxes from that tweet are kind of starting to make sense. I kind of love this chest as well. It looks like it's sort of partially open, which is cute. And then there's maybe, are those like board game boxes or something? There's like some old boxes set on top. This couch is kind of interesting. I'm going to be honest. I think that pattern's a little bit ugly, <laughs> but there's a ugly patterned couch. It has like some blankets or maybe like some shirts kind of just laid there. There's a bookcase back here and it's kind of a weird shape. So I kind of like that. It seems like there's a lot of slots in it so that you could put clutter. And this shelf looks like it's like not straight. Can you tell what I'm talking about? It's also kind of worn down with like maybe some chipped paint. There's some old trophies up here. I love that, like the old trophy clutter because it's so cute to like pretend your Sims had like some kids trophies when they played on kids sports teams. There's another old photo. I like this mirror a lot. There's like this really beautiful old mirror and then maybe some like picture frames kind of leaning up against it. Another kind of wonky lamp that we've got here. This looks like some sort of old leather recliner chair. Down here, this looks like a couple of chairs stacked together on top of each other. And then there's like a moving cart with some cases or something. And then this, which is probably the biggest standout of the whole thing. This is really cool because it's like a mattress, like deconstructed bed kind of leaning up against the wall. But more importantly, it's the old heart bed from The Sims 1. This, and I'm not joking, is the vibromatic heart bed. And with it, in the old Sims games, you could choose to have it vibrate and then send your Sim to bed with another Sim for, you know, 
purposes. That is how you woohooed back then in The Sims 1, but at the time it was called Play in Bed, and it was the only way to woohoo in The Sims 1, only on this bed. Otherwise, if you wanted to have a baby and you didn't have this pack, your Sims would just kiss a lot. Look at this, you would select the bed and pick Vibrate, and then you would select Play in Bed, and then you could get this Should We Have a Baby pop-up. So as you can maybe imagine, this heart bed is kind of iconic, so I'm really liking this little nod to it. A lot of people have been asking to get a real heart bed, like one your sims can actually use. I'm assuming that this one is not a bed that your sims can actually use, but I do like the idea of like a mattress leaned up against the wall. Gameplay and like heart bed aside, I love this for like storytelling and decorating and stuff. And now that they've kind of nodded to it, it's like they've acknowledged everybody begging to have it in The Sims 4, and maybe they will make it like for real. I really love when they do little Easter eggs and little nods to older Sims games. Obviously a lot of folks maybe aren't familiar with this. I mean, I didn't play The Sims 1, so don't feel bad if you didn't know about it. But it's kind of cute to like acknowledge the longtime fans and the longtime player base. But that is both the kits, and at this moment there is not an update, but it is only 12.09, so hopefully in like an hour we'll have one. So I'll be back as soon as we get any update news. Okay, after what feels like hours later, the patch notes have finally dropped. The update came out at 1 40 minutes ago and we just now got patch notes. I've been building something, so let me close my game and then we can update. All right, what do we got here? So apparently they fixed the stretchy infants. There was like this weird bug. This has always happened where like Sims stretch. I don't know if you've seen a toddler like all of a sudden become child height. That kind of thing was going on. So they're joking about it right at the top. In this update, we have new decoration options to help you add that personal touch to your builds, new underwear options, some Mac support, and a collab with Becca Hatch. So they added a new pop song. They do this sometimes where they collab with real life artists. So in this case, Becca has recorded a song in Simlish and they added it to the pop radio station in game. I'm not gonna play it for you because I'm sorry, Becca, but I'm not trying to get copyright striked. But you can listen to that on your Sims radio in game, which is kind of cool. New underwear options. And it looks like there's a bunch or okay, there's two. <laughs> there's like these high waisted ones and then these boxers. I actually wasn't expecting to get anything in the base game update today. I thought it was gonna be like the song and then a couple bug fixes. Oh, my game's not updated. Okay, hold on. How did that happen? I thought I updated it. Huh, okay. The app couldn't connect to the servers. Yeah, that's not ideal. We'll have to come back to this. We'll, we'll check in game in a second. New ways to decorate. It looks like they've added some new decor placement options across various bathroom fixtures. So there's new decorative slots to toilets, sinks, bathtubs, and more. So they added slots on the bathtub and on the toilet and on like the sink corners. That's so good because I feel like we've all been faking this. Like we've been like using move objects to place stuff there. So they added real slots to it. It seems like they've added a lot. Like this shelf, believe it or not, didn't have slots here before. This thing didn't have slots on top. This cabinet has slots on top now. But I think most importantly, having slots on the sink to like put the toothpaste and the soap, slots on the back of the toilet. Cause I used to like raise objects up to place it there using cheats, but now you can actually place it there for real. That's so fun. They even put a drink here on the corner of the bathtub and they added a few new color variants to round out some of our basics. So they got a couple colors to the towel storage rack and the countryside cares medicine cabinet. Okay, this thing literally had like three swatches. It was like pink, blue, and yellow. So it seems like they've definitely added a real black swatch now. I'm guessing we got probably a couple other neutrals. Too bad I can't check because- oh! Wait, are we back? Game update required, there we go. Okay, now we can check. It looks like that's the only new stuff aside from like a bunch of bug fixes. Toddlers can once again gain movement skill while using slides. Thank you. Why couldn't you have done this like two hours ago? <laughs> I filmed a video for tomorrow where I was trying to like last minute build some toddler skills. It's too late, they've aged up. <sighs> Great. Parents will no longer need to introduce themselves to their little one after they've aged up to an infant. When I read these patch notes, there's always so many random bugs that I didn't know existed, like parents forgetting who their newborns are. I'm gonna link these patch notes down below, by the way, if you wanna read through the whole thing, but for now, I'm just gonna go through some stuff that stands out to me. There's a bunch of infant stretching ones. Infants will no longer stretch in response to being yelled at by a toddler. Infants won't stretch during wedding vows anymore. Top surgery scars are now available when you re-enter cast, so without any like cast off full edit mode cheats. They've tuned it so infants stop chomping their caregivers so often. Checking your infant's teeth in cast will not be accompanied by vampiric hissing. Oh my god, have you heard that? There's a few skin details obviously that you can pick from, but there's also some baby teeth that you can pick from. Ah! <laughs> 
What is that? Even my cat turned around to look. Make it stop. I'm actually kind of sad they changed it. I kind of liked it. My game's fixed. All right, I'm opening it. They fixed a couple console bugs. It looks like they still haven't fixed the teeth stuff from growing together. I was expecting to see some updates to like the losing teeth and the bugs that we were having there. Somehow it is still not fixed. More infant stretching bugs. Yeah, there's not really a ton of huge things that I'm seeing, but again, I'll link this for you down below. Oh, speaking of the tooth bug, regarding the loose tooth bug, our team has made progress in our investigation of the loose tooth bug. We appreciate your patience as we continue to work toward- okay, they haven't fixed it yet. It sounds like they don't know how to fix it. They're still working on trying to figure out the fix for it, so the loose tooth feature is gone as they wait. There was a really weird bug with like losing teeth and it breaking your sim's appearance like completely, so that's why they had to disable it because it was like totally busted, but they still haven't fixed it. Here's the new underwear options, by the way. So we have this one in a couple of basic swatches. I quite like that. And then we also have this one in a couple basic swatches. This one mm, has no texture. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really weird actually. This swatch has texture, but this, I don't know. It just doesn't look good. Do you see the waistband? How it's like kind of like not smooth? That's kind of a shame. I guess this one's not very good either, huh? I don't know. There's something about it that just feels kind of flat to me maybe. I shouldn't complain because it is nice to have more base game stuff and we don't really have that many underwear options. So I'll take what we can get. This is the other one. So we have these like boxers too. I'm glad they did this. It's a little thing, but it's kind of nice, especially after we got like the whole underwear kit. It's nice to have some more stuff that's like free for everybody. I'm really excited about the slotting though. Like that's what I care more to see. So it sounds like they put slots on the toilet and on the sinks. I guess on the tubs as well. So if I try to place this, oh my god. Oh that's so nice. The way that we used to do cheats, can I show you how I used to do this? Like with move objects on. So back in the day I used to like place something on a counter and then move it over so that I could try and like sneak sneakily place it on here and have it be at the right height. We used to go to great lengths to try and pretend to place stuff on top of these. This is so much nicer. I am so glad that we can do that now, especially after we got an entire bathroom clutter kit. I bet they were trying to do this in time for the clutter kit and it like wasn't done in time. This was probably supposed to go hand in hand with the kit, but hey, I'm not complaining. I am very, very glad that they did this. This is the kind of thing that I didn't really expect them to do. Like I, I'm really impressed that they They've gone in and added this. Do all of the toilets have slots now? I guess this one doesn't look that big. Oh yeah, that one doesn't. I bet it's just like the toilets that look like they could have slots. Yeah, look at that. They also said that they added swatches to this thing. There's like a plain version and a towel version. Okay, look, before it just had these colored swatches. So it came in like pink, white and pink, yellow and blue, green. It doesn't have like a plain white swatch. It still doesn't have a plain white swatch, but there is a black and white swatch now. Okay, so we didn't get a lot of swatches, but we got a black swatch. So I'm actually not mad. That's good. I'm glad. I wish this one had a plain, like all white swatch. Cause this one, I don't know if you can tell, but those towels are pink. I think they also added swatches to this. Is that what they said? Maybe the black swatch is new. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. I think this has slots too. Yeah, look at that. This thing, by the way, previously did not have a slot on the top shelf. I know because I very recently tried to build a bathroom and I realized and I was really mad. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. This is such a fun little update. I'm really glad that they did this. Now we gotta go build a bathroom or something. I feel like these kit announcement videos are always kind of like, oh my God, another kit. But at least we got a good base game update. Like this is some good free stuff. This kind of like, you know, it helps balance it out. Not completely, but it helps a little bit. The slots have me in a good mood. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm actually kind of excited about the kits too. I'm really curious to see like what comes in them. I'm sort of scared of the community's reaction towards that heart bed because I'm not kidding. People have been begging for that for years and now we're getting this like deconstructed version of it. I do think it's kind of fun though. It's a fun nod to this old thing and at least they're acknowledging that we want it so bad. Like that's kind of a plus, but I'm curious to hear in the comments what you all think about these kits. I anticipate the reaction is gonna be a lot of like, oh my god, more kits. But are you at least excited about these particular kits? Like, do these intrigue you at all? I'm kind of scared the greenhouse is gonna disappoint me. I love the idea of it, and so I'm really worried that it's not gonna have enough windows and stuff to make it good. But again, we haven't really even seen it yet, so it's hard to make judgments. I'll buy them on Thursday so we can look through all the stuff together. And on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. So thank you for watching, and have the best rest of your day, and I'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody.
I can't believe they added more bathroom clutter slots. It feels like such a small thing. So I'm really glad that they like noticed and went back and did it because they didn't have to, but it's so cool that they did.